Okay, this um, uh, video we're going to talk about two different things. We're going to talk about a run chart and then a control chart. A uh, run chart, what we're looking at is we have just a regular standard amount of data. Um, this is the number of defects over time and if we just took and uh, highlighted our data we could go in and insert a line and there it is. Over time this is what our defects look like. This is really close to what a run chart looks like. However, one thing that we do with a run chart is that we go ahead and add in the median value to also get a better feel for when things are up and when they're down and when they're close to it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this one off and the only thing that we need to do now is we really need to add on the median so that we have a better look at it. Uh, we can calculate the median by using our formulas. Uh, I'm typing in equals MED, median pops up. I'm double left clicking, highlighting the data. Median is 15.5. We're going to take this, copy it, paste it in. Now then if I go back and collect both lines, I can go to insert Again, we're going to look at a line, and this is a run chart. The reason that we call it a run chart is because we can see what happens over runs of time. We see here that from July and August that they were up higher, and it looks like we've got a run here where the data is kind of going off to the edge there. It's a run chart, something that we normally start off with and, and very easy for us to calculate. The run chart is very similar to a control chart. The difference on a control chart is we need to have an upper control limit and a lower control limit. So <clears throat> from that regard, what we're looking at is we need to find what our upper control limit and lower control limits should be on this. Uh, the way we find the upper and lower control limits is we're going to take um, our average, so we know we need to take the average value, and we need to add to that average value the average of the range. Um, and whenever I'm talking about the range there, it's the range from the defect to the overall average. So it's how much, it's an average of how much we're bouncing up and down here. So our average is, if we type in equals average, go back to our data and select average is 16. Now then we can go in and collect the range by saying equals, again this is an absolute value, because we want to see exactly how far things are, equals 16 minus whatever the value here is. As we can see, average is 16, January is 12, that's an absolute value of it is four points below. Back up here, if I left click and drag, what I've done there is I've taken that formula and I have just applied it to everything. Make sure we have everything right. December is seven points away from the average. Yep, everything looks good there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm taking the average of the range equals average of this range. Okay, 3.66 is the average on the range. The way we get the upper control limit is we take the average plus two point six six which is uh, a statistical um, number when we're looking at ninety five percent confidence intervals times this average of the range okay that gives me an upper control limit so if I take my average plus 2.66 times 
the average of the range. It says my upper control limit is 25.75. And for the lower control limit, we're going to do exactly the same thing, except this time we're going to subtract 2.66 from it. So equals the average minus 2.66 times that. There's my upper control limit. There's my lower control limit. I'm going to take real quick, make sure I don't lose these values. I'm just going to copy them. And I'm going to do a quick paste special in here to make sure that all the formulas go away and I can hold on to those values. Because for our control chart, the last things that we need here is we need an upper control limit, which is 25.75. and I need a lower control limit. And that lower control limit is 6.25. Okay, now I have all of the information that I need in there. I'm going to highlight all of our data. I'm going to insert line again. Now then, instead of just a run chart, I have a control chart of the uh, number of defects that I have. You can see here's my upper limit, here's my lower limit, there's the um, median still in the center, and you can see from this uh, control chart we never go above or below the, um, uh, the control limits. So that's how we put together a control chart.